Hello traders, uh, happy new year to you. Uh, this video is uh, recorded today on the 5th of, uh, this, uh, 5th of uh, January 2015 uh, because uh, a TSGW24 uh, trader has asked a question and uh, we sent him uh, one uh, video and now we are recording the second video. Uh, I would like to remind traders that this video is not a confidential uh, video, so traders uh, can share it, okay? It's not a confidential uh, trading video. Please do not share any confidential video, but this particular video is not a confidential video. All right? So, Pam, you asked a question. I promised to send you the email yesterday. As you know, I am a busy bee. All right, so forgive me for that. So here we are. I'm starting again. I want to draw your attention to something very important here. Uh, trading on the edge. All right. But before I continue, I would like to say to traders that if you are a new trader, you need to give yourself enough time uh, to learn and to improve, okay, and also to sharpen your trading skills. So Maybe you are having difficulties or you are finding trading okay, a bit difficult. Do not worry. Slowly but gradually, okay, you will see that you start improving. The purpose of the video is to highlight the importance of trading on the edge and the use of trend line and channel. Right? Because we use indicators, but as I always say to traders, we are not trading indicators. We are trading the price. The indicators will give us warning, all right, but the price must confirm the warning. So we, if the indicator tell us to buy, the price must confirm, okay, that buying warning. If the indicators tell us to sell, it's a selling warning that the moment, the bearish momentum is increasing, but we must confirm that with the price. And how do we do that? We do that by looking at the price, drawing trend line, channels and projecting also a channel i want to bring your attention now i'm on a daily chart and i'm looking at the new zealand dollar canadian dollar okay all right new zealand dollar Canadian dollar though we are using a currency pair here we can apply the same strategy for stock for commodity on this daily chart okay i have drawn a trend line i'm going to call my first trend line in red okay pay attention carefully so how did I draw this trend line? I joined this point here and this point here, all right? So if you are more experienced right now, you can stay with us and watch this video because you'll be amazed about what I'm going to share with you here. So with these two points here, I am able to draw my trend line. Like I said to traders, the third time is mine. So the next thing we are paying attention to, what is the slope of the trend line? Is the trend line going down or is it going up? In this case, it's going down. So if the prior rally, okay, to retest the bearish trend line, very important. After displaying a lower low, it's very important, okay? Very, very important. So here you see the prior, there was a low here. A price display a lower low before rallying to retest the trend line here, the bearish trend line. This is a bearish setup. Okay, here we can see that the prior retested the, the same bearish trend line, but it did not display a lower low. This is not a lower low compared to this one before retesting the bearish trend line. Though it's still bearish because the price finding resistance here, if we are selling here, we need to be very, very careful. It will work. As you can see here, it worked beautifully and price went down more. But looking at the price, we know that the price had displayed a higher low, even when above a little bit this high, before retesting the trend line. So when we are selling here, we need to be careful, which means we need to watch the trade. It doesn't mean that the trade will fail, but we know that it may fail uh, because of the higher low here. All right? This is how I want you to, to start using. So from the daily chart, so where are we now? You see here, the price is again on the edge of our bearish trend line here. All right? But look, 
The price that is playing high low, there was this, you see, there was this low, okay, another low, okay, another low, these are higher low. So it's not as bearish as it's supposed to be. It's tight going, displaying high low before retesting this trend line. You see here when people sold it, it didn't go up very fast. So this is what I call the language of the price. Okay? So we are here now. Suppose I want to sell here or I receive a sell signal here. It's a beautiful place because why? I'm on the edge of a bearish trend line. I don't need to use too much stop loss and I won't feel so bad if the trade fell because, all right, the price is retesting a bearish trend line. But in this case, the price is displaying higher lows before retesting a bearish trend line. And I know that this is not excellent bearish setup, but if I am trading, trading it, I need to monitor it carefully, carefully, carefully. So from this point onwards, we are here now, okay? We are here, yes or no? So this is where we are now, all right? So we are now on a daily chart. Let's change time frame now. I'm going to go now to the hourly chart, okay? Because what I'm trying to do by going to the hourly chart, I just want to see, uh, zoom into what is happening here on the hourly chart. I'm looking at the same financial instrument, but I just want I just want to see it what is happening on the hourly chart. I can go to the 30 minute chart, but I want to go to the hourly chart because I discussed few things with you last time. But because this video is a public video, I don't want to say too much. Okay, you understand, all right? Now we are on the hourly chart. This is where we are now. I'm going to remove that spot that I drawn on. This is my red line that I draw on the daily chart. The blue line that is showing the higher lows on the daily chart are still showing on my hourly chart. Can you see now? So now I switch time frame. What do I need to do? Again, nothing should stop me. As I explained to you, we want to trade on the If we change time frame, even if you go to the one minute chart, two minute chart, three minute chart, 30 minute chart, from a higher time frame, you draw your support, resistance, trend line, you change time frame, you do exactly the same thing again. So now I'm on the hourly chart. As I explained to you, we are not trading indicators, we are trading the price. Again, here on the hourly chart, I can draw again trend line. Okay, every time you change time frame, do not hesitate to draw a trend. So join this point and this point, I have a trend line on my hourly chart. So my hourly chart trend line, I'm going to color them in orange so you know that this is from the hourly chart, okay? I have this trend line, so the price was going up. But we know that the higher time frame commands the lower time frame, but because the price below the bearish trend line on the daily chart, I want to give priority to sell signal, even though here, you see, at this point in time, you see here, it came here. But while the price was going up to retest uh, the bearish trend line on the daily chart, on the hourly chart, we see that it was in a rising channel. So a trader on the hourly chart, though he or she know that the daily chart is bearish, may decide to buy here a low, a higher low. But if he or she is buying here, he knows that he's trading against the higher time frame because the bearish trend line is still here on the daily chart. So I'm on the hourly chart. I see this as a bullish setup because a low, a higher low. The third time is testing here. If I'm buying here, it's a contra trend. It's a bit risky. That's why sometimes traders will see a, a bullish setup, but because they did not check the higher time frame, the bullish setup will fail. So here, somebody who start looking at the chart from the hourly chart may say that it's bullish, all right? But if he fail to check the higher time frame, he may not see this, uh, okay, red trend line. So I'm on the hourly chart, I see this, I say, okay, all right. I want to give it a chance. But I know something else that is still bearish. It's not completely bullish. As it's going up near this level, I'll take my profit and I can also sell here. All right, on the edge of my, uh, okay, blue channel, uh, this channel here on the hourly chart, I can, if I, if I switch to the first best time frame, I know now it goes up. This is a, okay, a short term rally to retest the bearish trend line on the hourly chart. And okay, the TSCW24 tell me on the first best time frame to, to sell, I will sell on the edge because why? Anytime I want to sell, two things is I want to know. 
Are we at the resistance zone? Are we on the edge? I check the risk reward ratio. Next thing, check the economy news and the time of the day. What is the time of the day? All right, the time of the day is very important. As I explained to you the first two hours, okay? Everything I said before still apply, all right? That's what I said to you, slowly but gradually. When traders start trading fast, I see you all the time, traders think that if they purchase the best trading system in the world, they will start trading a like professional trader in one day. This is not true. The, the trading tools are important. It's good to have a valid trading tool, but you want to learn to master the tool and understand what is taking place. So you see now, so I'm going to color this one again into orange. All right, let me see. This is the line that I'm drawing on the hourly chart. I'm going to see again how I'll be talking to you. Now I'm talking to you 10 minutes. I don't want to go over 20 minutes. So, so nothing can stop me again to draw another line on my hourly chart. I change time frame. I just start drawing line. All right. So here I'm joining this point and this one only here. I can again, okay? Just what I'm doing here, I want to draw your attention. One of the mistakes that I made myself when I was a new trader, I was not drawing. This is not a beautiful channel, but if you accept it, I just draw it roughly. That is not, okay? It's not a beautiful channel. I just choose one point here to make it parallel to the top one here. That's what I'm doing here. You can see that the price, in fact, went horizontal. It went horizontal here, okay? All right. One of the mistakes that I was making as a new trader, I was not using the trend line at all, and I was not using the indicators. And I know that a lot of traders are making similar mistakes. They, sometimes they forget to draw the trend line, all right? And like I explained to you, the common set trend line, the normal trend line, the channel. We allow you to determine the best place to enter the trade, to exit the trade, and to manage the trade, and to control the risk. You change time frame, draw the lines. What you have seen on a higher time frame will allow you to make better decisions as you switch your time frame. From this hourly chart, I can switch to the 50 minute chart, to 10 minute chart, to 5 minute chart, to zoom into the price. Again, here, I can draw again another trend line like this, okay? This point and this point on my hourly chart. Because now, that's why we are now, okay? And, uh, and I choose this point here at the top, and I just draw one line that is parallel to the first one. Again, I will color them in orange, so you can see the lines that I draw on my hourly chart. This is very powerful, and if you start doing this gently, okay, give it a chance, just start doing this gently every time. You change time frame, draw the line, know the resistance on that time frame, but remember that the higher time frame commands the lower time frame, which means what we have seen on the higher time frame, if it's bearish, we want to give priority to bearish signal when we change time frame, and if what we see on the higher time frame is bullish, we want to give priority to bullish signal on the on the lower time frame. But remember, when you are about to buy or sell, you want to buy at a support level on the edge. If you want to sell, you want to sell at a resistance level on the edge. Because the way we design the TSCW24, we want, we want to simplify the thing for traders. But I also make myself available for traders. So when traders start using the TSCW24, they say, hey, George, what do you mean by that, okay? Why this is happening? Okay, that's why we record videos like this, to talk to traders directly. Sometimes, we see sometimes traders, some traders, all traders don't have the same level. Some traders take longer, and we are just waiting, all right? And the process going on, going on, going on, and slowly but gradually, traders will start improving, all right? Okay? So now I draw my line up. Now we are on the hourly chart. I know we are still under the bearish trend line on the daily chart. But also we know now that the music is changing a little bit on the daily chart. Did you forget this line here? Okay. So in this scenario, the way things stand now, because you see the price was below this bearish trend line on the daily chart, was bearish, was displaying lower lows, Okay, now it's not displaying lower lows anymore because if you're in a downtrend, we want to see more lower low. If you're in a uptrend, we want to see more higher low. So now I start doing this. In this scenario, all right, 
I will not challenge the price here because you see here, it touched here, didn't come down. I will not try to risk it here because that is playing high low. What I will prefer in this scenario, I will prefer that the price, okay, hopefully, hopefully, if, he, if they allow it, okay, doesn't mean that you will do that. I will prefer it to come down somewhere to retest this uh, the trend line. Okay, on the edge here, that would be a better place for me to look for opportunity to buy. Sometimes the prime may not do that, which means I will look for another place. So I'm drawing another line on the top, this time on the daily chart. You see here, now I have a blue channel on my daily chart, and I will also pay attention to the media line of that channel. Okay, if the price is out of uh, the bigger blue channel, we will project it to the direction of the price. So what do I mean? Come out of this, you see this channel, that's the width of that channel, okay? If you come up out of it here, we will project that channel equal side to the other side, making the line parallel, okay? Another channel that is parallel to the first one, but with the same width like the first one. This is about market geometry and the projection. If the price goes below, we will project it to the downside. And again, I will also highlight uh, the media line of that channel. So here, if the price couldn't come all the way here, and the bullish momentum is strong, and I receive a buy signal near the media line, I will call out the media line now into uh, pink, okay? If, I, if it come near, but this is a bit tricky, if it come near the media line here, all right, this is not the best place because the best place is here. But if it come near the media line and I receive a buy signal, I may give it a chance. But I know that the risk is high near the media line. This best place is here. This is a technical analysis. What is happening, okay? This is something else that is messing up a lot of forex traders. Tra when I start trading first, I don't pay attention to the economy news. I recommend to traders to pay attention to the economy news. The New Zealand, okay, central bank, okay, do not want their currency to be too strong because of the competition. So their gold will become too expensive to other countries, talking about the, the, the exchange rates, all right, especially between the New Zealand dollar and the US dollar, okay. So they don't want their currency to go to, to be too strong. So they would prefer it to go down. That's why people were selling it, because if the central bank says something, it's about uh, investors and long-term view. So people are giving priority to sell signal. For the Canadian dollar, what is happening? Crude oil is going down. One, the, the economy of Canada depends 90% of crude oil price. So when crude oil price, we're talking about oil, crude oil price is strengthening, okay, the Canadian dollar benefit from it. So the, because crude oil is going down big time, okay, the Canadian dollar, technically speaking, people should be selling it. So, New Zealand go, uh, central bank doesn't want their currency to go down. <laughs> Canadian dollar, the crude oil is going down. So that's why you can see recently, since October 2014, it was not going anywhere too far, this pair, because both people want to sell both, and it's just hanging into this, uh, two, this um, shallow okay, section here. You want to check the economy news of forex factoring and know sometime economy news concerning New Zealand dollar will be released late in the night. So when you see that you are turning during a long session, you know that some economy news are due, okay, late in the night concerning New Zealand dollar, sometime again concerning the Australian dollar. You want to play the mind game, all right? So if it was going up before, traders that were bullish will start taking some profit, all right? before the economy news sometime, okay? So you want to be careful when you see the major economy news. I don't want the video to be too long. This is the end of this video. Trading on the edge, draw your channel and make the right decision with the TST trading tool. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders. This video is not a confidential material, but it's recorded for a TSTW24 traders. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you very soon.